Let us pray. Father, this is dedicated to all of the lovers of Jesus. Because our hearts are so full of joy and worship and praise, we adore you profoundly. And we thank you, Lord, for this verse that you gave us in, in Psalm 45, the wedding song. And we ask for all of those to come and receive you, Lord, who do not know you and do not know of your great love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A wedding song. Psalm 45. My heart overflows with a goodly theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. You are the fairest of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one, so glorious, so majestic. In your majesty ride forth victoriously for the cause of truth. Defending truth, humility, and justice. Go forth to all inspiring deeds. Your arrows are sharp in your enemies' hearts. The people fall under you and fall down before you. Your divine throne endures forever and ever. Justice is your royal scepter, and you love justice and righteousness. You love what is good and hate what is wrong. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. Your robe, your robes are fragrantly perfumed with myrrh and aloes and cassia. In your ivory palaces, stringed instruments are being played for your gladness and for your enjoyment. King's daughters are among thine honorable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir, your royal bride, in jewelry of gold from Ophir. I advise you, O daughter, not to fret about your parents in your land so far away. Forget your people and your father's house. Your royal husband delights in your beauty. Reverence him, for he is your Lord. Bow to him. Desire him, honor him, worship him. The people of Tyre, the richest people of our day, will pursue your favor with gifts. The richest of the people, with all kinds of wealth, they will shower you with gifts and entreat your favors. The king's daughter is all glorious within, robed in beautiful clothing, woven with gold. In embroidered garments, she is led to the king. In her many-colored robes, she will be brought into the king in raiments of needlework. Lovely, she is led by her maids of honor to the king with joy and gladness. They are led along. Her virgin companions follow her and are brought to you. Her, virgins, her virgin companions, her escorts in her train, with gladness and rejoicing shall they be brought. They shall enter into the king's palace. What a joyful, glad procession as they enter the palace gates. Your sons will some day be kings like their father. They shall sit on thrones around the world. Instead of thy fathers shall be thy children, and you will make them princes throughout the land. I will cause your name to be honored, remembered, celebrated, perpetuated through all generations, Therefore shall the people praise thee forever and ever. The nations of the earth will praise you forever. For you are Jesus Christ, our darling Ishai, our precious Redeemer, our wonderful Savior. You are the Messiah, and you are the Bridegroom, O beloved Lord, the Creator of all that is. We adore you profoundly. Amen.